Uh, Sergeant, uh, what, what, what was that? That. That is what we've been waiting for, Private. Contact Steve Ross immediately. See, Rory, I told you. If we follow that distress signal, we would find something. And guess what? We found something. The signal seems to be coming from that large building. <sighs> All right, Doctor. You win. All right. But tell me this. Whose distress call is it? And why is it coming from that building? <laughs> well, Rory, you got me there. I don't know whose distress call is it. They may be enemies, or they could be friends. But all I know is that they need help, and that I am here to help them. Oh, Doctor. You're so kind, always trying to help people in need. Ah, uh, Amy, when will you and the doctor learn? Sometimes gullible kindness can lead to trouble. What if this really is a trap? Oh, Rory, <laughs> but you're worrying. We've got nothing to worry about. I'm sure this is just going to be a little quick run-in and run-out job. You know, guess what? We may even get a reward. I know how you love those so much. Don't get your hopes up too quickly, Doctor. Look, what's that? What? Where? Where? What? I can't see anything. Doctor, what is he talking about? Unidentified life forms approaching. I will destroy them. No, no, no weapons! And I thought I could have a nice day. No. Oh no, Doctor, it's the, um, the, uh, uh, blue men? The, um, uh, the, 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 the Santarans, Amy. They're Santarans, but why would they be calling for help? No, no, no! Not the Santarans, Doctor. They're not the ones calling for help. Someone else is probably calling for help because the Santarans are bothering them. Just like they're bothering me. We, we should get out of here. No, wait, Doctor, please do not need us. We, we need your help. I, I am Captain... Good year. Good year. Hmm. Am I supposed to remember the name Good Year? Because I don't. Hmm. And you need my help. Hmm. Good year. Who are you working for? He is a member of the unit organization, which the Santarans are watching. Oh, Doctor. What does he mean by watching? Is this some sort of potato head invasion? Is Captain Goodyear a slave to the Santarans? Amy, please, let Captain Goodyear speak. I'm trying to hear what he has to say. <clears throat> yes, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, I am Captain Goodyear. Year. I am head of this outlet of the Unit Association, and this is my partner, Steve Ross. Yes, I am Steve Ross. It is a pleasure to meet you, but we must get inside quickly. Betty will like to see you. Steve, who is this? Betty. Like I said, Betty is our employer. She is the owner of the First Bank of London Bank. First Bank of London Bank. First Bank of London Bank. It doesn't ring a bell. What is it? If you would allow my associate to explain, 
the first bank of London Bank is the biggest bank of all of London and it has the biggest supply of goodies. Oh, I get it now. So she's hired you to protect the goodies. Well, not exactly. Oh, Rory, what do you think this Betty woman is like? Do you think she's a... Oh, Amy, I'm sure she won't be a replacement for you. That's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is I'm just afraid she's going to be a rotten snob. Oh, I'm sure she already is a rotten snob, Amy. Oh, come on, Amy. It'll be all right. Let's just go into it with a positive attitude, knowing that we will help someone. And you never know, maybe this Betty woman was the one, do you think, who sent out the distress signal? Do you think? Yeah, you really never know these things, Rory. You never know, really. It's just another day in the life of the Doctor. Just another day. Another day. This is the main entrance to the bank. We'll take you in and you can meet Betty and her family. Family? You never mentioned anything about a family. Well, she has one, all right. They don't get along very well, though. 